you know, maybe they're right, man. Maybe they're right when they said Curry is the greatest shooter of all time. I'm just so resistant to saying that, man. I just don't like to give blanket. I don't like to make blanket statements without presenting some type of concrete uh, evidence to back it up. I mean, guys didn't shoot three-pointers in the same volume that they do now. Even five years ago, they did. So it's, it's just, you know, like when they, when they talk about last night, you know, Curry made nine three-pointers, all right, against the Pelicans. He's the first player to make at least eight three-pointers in a game in three consecutive contests. And Okay, <clears throat> but when Dale Ellis was playing, five and six attempts were a lot. Well, when he was in his prime, five and six three-point attempts in a game were a lot. You see what I'm saying? Like, people didn't take 15, 23-point attempts on their own. You know what I mean? Like, in fact, that was a lot for a team to take <clears throat> overall back in the early to mid-90s, or especially the early 90s. That was a lot of three-point attempts just for a team rather than one individual player. I remember it was a big deal when uh, Bill Beer made what, five three-pointers and a half? I think it was in the finals game in 1990 against the Portland Trailblazers. That was a lot of three-pointers in itself. I think he finished the game with six. Michael Jordan, I think the most three-pointers he ever attempted in a game were 12. And I think there was a game where he made seven in the game. And I think, incidentally, they came against the Golden State Warriors it was either the Golden State Warriors or Sacramento Kings. I think it was the Warriors, but someone could fact check me on that. Um, so, what Curry's doing, as far as far as uh, he and James Harden, but Curry's just far. He's on another level when it comes to accuracy from beyond the arc. Like um, James Harden currently is shooting thirty eight percent from beyond the arc this season, which is good. That's about what Larry Bird shot for his career. Um, although I think that percentage is misleading, and I've, I've said this multiple times, um, except for his rookie year, 1979-1980, Larry Bird kind of avoided that shot until the 86 season. And then he started using it as a weapon. Of course, that's the same year that the three-point contest was introduced into the NBA. But from 1980 to 85, Bird kind of avoided that shot and stuck more to the traditional mid-range game and, and occasional post scoring. And um, a lot of times what, what you would see is Bird shooting a three-pointer with the shot clock running down or something like that, a desperation heave or, or something like that. So that's why some of his percentages look pretty bad, like, 24%, 26%. Um, I think Bird, if you take away those years, he's probably a 40% three-point shooter. And of course, as I tend to do, I want to prove what I'm saying rather than just uh, talking out of my ass. Let's see something. Hey, Bird. Going to him. Basketball reference. And we take those last two years. We take 80 from 85 to 92. Uh, Bird shot 49.5% from the floor, 91% from the free throw line, 25 points per game, nine rebounds, seven assists, one and a half steals, 39.4% from beyond the arc. And if you add that, that rookie year where he shot 40%, yeah, just a hair under 40%. So <clears throat> that's why I always like to include Larry Bird in the conversation as far as great three-point shooters, even though he didn't take that many and have stated that he actually didn't like that shot. But I have to admit, man, with all due respect to Draws and Petrovic, Reggie Miller, 
Bird, uh, some other great overall shooters. Rick Barry is a great shooter, but he wasn't really a three-point shooter. Um, all due respect to all these guys, Dell Ellis, what Stephen Curry is doing, Steve Nash, even though he didn't shoot a lot, I used to say statistically Steve Nash was the greatest shooter I ever saw. And there's still a lot of evidence to back that up. He shot 49% from the floor for his career, uh, over 42% from beyond the arc, close to 43%. And statistically, he was the all-time leader in free throw percentage. Right now, Curry is kind of going back and forth with interchanging with uh, Steve Nash with, with that. Uh, but there's a lot of evidence to give the title to Curry. Man. And I have to admit that. Last night, he scored 41 points. And this is a true 41 points. He scored 41 points on 11 of 22 shooting, which is 50%. 9 of 17 from beyond the arc, which is over 50%. It was 10 of 10 from the foul line. This year, he's shooting, uh, what, like 93% from the free throw line. Uh, for his career, he's now at 90.5% from the charity stripe, which once again puts him over Steve Nash by fractions as the greatest free throw shooter of all time. Uh, what I want to look for is for him to pass Steve Nash while having the same amount of attempts. Uh, you know, as far as overall career. But the thing that gets me is not only is Curry so accurate from beyond the arc for his career uh, and has been so prolific as far as the numbers, he now has 2,000, I think, 313 career-made three-pointers. So right now, I mean, he's, he's really rising up that list fast, all right? Reggie Miller is second with 2,560. I remember when Reggie Miller retired, I said, man, the only guy that could get close is Ray Allen. Ray Allen kind of obliterated that record. But right now, Stephen Curry is only 247 three-pointers away from passing Reggie Miller. And I think Stephen Curry realizes that, and he's become even more focused on that three-point line. And despite that, if anything, his accuracy is going up. Um, his range is unbelievable. This is a guy, when he's on, he can just pull up from 30 feet out and nail a three-pointer. And it's not a lucky shot. You know, it's not prayers. He's not heaving it. He's shooting it like a regular shot. And at that point, when a guy can make shots from 27, 28 feet out, essentially he's unguardable. See, I watch Kevin Durant, I watch Clay, and they feel more comfortable shooting maybe a step out from the three-point line. Curry can shoot a shot from 30, 32. When he's really, really, really on, like in fuego, like in a zone, it's, there's games where he can make it from 35 feet out. Like, you can't guard that. Um, not that I would advise anybody just to shoot from 35 feet out, but still, for a guy to be able to shoot from that distance, like a regular shot, not heaving it, not thrusting it, there's really nothing you can do defensively. And I think that, yeah, if this had been 20 years ago, I don't know if Curry would be putting up 30 points per game, um, but he would still be an effective player. I think he would have shot fewer three-pointers, uh, because I think he would have been chased off the line a little bit more. Um, but there have been games, I think he would have been similar, and I made this comparison before. I think he would have been a, a better version or more, um, I think he would have been kind of like Abdul Rauf, but more consistent and even better outside shooter. I think Abdul Rauf was like, what, 30... 7%, 38% from beyond the arc, which is pretty good. Um, I, I don't know if Curry would be shooting 
44% from beyond the arc like he is now. I think he'd be more like 40, 41%. I know it doesn't sound like much, but it is. But I think he'd still be a good player. I think he would average like 20 points per game or something like that in the 90s NBA just because of the way the game was played. But he would still be a very good player in any era. He's just playing in an era where it's so beneficial for a guy like him. Um, he's third all-time with three-point percentage behind only Steve Kerr and Hubert Davis. And it's a joke because <laughs> Steve Kerr only has 726 I believe, made career three-pointers. Only 726, I think. Hubert Davis played for 11 seasons, and he's the second most accurate three-point shooter of all time, as far as percentage is concerned. And he made 728. So, that just goes to show you, man, <laughs> Curry is the best three-point shooter of all time. He's the greatest free throw shooter of all time by the percentages. He shoots 47.8% from the floor. From two-pointers, he's fifty-one over 51% from the floor. You take into account the amount of three-pointers that he takes, all right, to still be shooting 48% from the floor is remarkable. So when I take all these things into account, yeah, I think Nash was a little bit better of a mid-range shooter and a little bit more consistent mid-range shooter than than Curry. Um, but I, I, I got to give it's, it because of just the volume of shots that Curry takes. I got to give it to, to Curry, man. I, 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 I you know, I got to. I think Curry's the greatest shooter of all time. Maybe I'm being a, a prisoner of the moment. Well, no, I'm not. I mean, the guy's been doing this shit for years. But I've been resistant to, to calling him the greatest shooter of all time. But I'm going to go ahead and say it, man. I think Curry's the greatest shooter of all time. Sorry, Steve Nash. Sorry, Drazen. I, I, I got to give it to him now. <laughs>